Welcome back everyone to the Overclocking World Championship 2017 in Las Vegas. This is the first event of the year. I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV and today, after the first match that saw uh, Step Hans from the US against b -Boy Jess from Indonesia, we're going to have a commentary and analysis by two of our uh, people that help out for commenting. That's going to be Tullius from India and Bill Zoid from UK. They will be commenting on everything that was happening in that match for the next uh, 15 minutes or so before we're going to have the next uh, match of this uh, of this uh, Las Vegas event. That's going to be the second semi-final. That's going to be between Lucky Noob from Indonesia and Doug Nausir from Japan. So I'll let you guys with Tullius and Bill Zoid for the analysis. Hey guys, you're live. How is it doing? Very well. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, so um, I'm Bill Zoid and uh, the guy next to me, that's Tullius. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, how, how was it for you? What did you thought about that game? Well, it was an exciting match, but I think we have some... Uh, both me and Tullius agree that we would have opted for a very different strategy, as in as far as clock tuning goes uh what we saw our contestants do was go very step by step which if you think about it um for for super pi 16 million which is a pretty long benchmark it runs for two and a half minutes uh once you actually start pushing it really well it's at 5.5 gigahertz it's still doing two minutes 43 uh 40 uh 40 you know, plus seconds. So it's a pretty slow benchmark. They're very time limited. 30 minutes is not a, l a large amount of time. I mean, we didn't see any scores in the first 10 minutes just because True. it takes so long to pull down the system, set up the BIOSes. Also, these are brand new motherboards. This is the, they were both using the Gigabyte Z270X SOC motherboard, which C. is brand yeah. new for the 270. And this early in motherboard development cycles, you often run into some rather interesting uh glitches <laughs> with some bioses <laughs> so yeah. uh the, the the setup was really really long and so we would have opted for a more aggressive uh sort of tuning style um, yeah, where take it away <laughs> yeah. go for it go for oh. it so more aggressive tuning style where instead of like uh, B-Boy Jez really went very, very like step by step where he starts at 5 gigahertz then he goes up to 5.5 gigahertz. That's when he got his first score of 2 minutes 43 seconds. And after that, he tried to step by step work his way up going to like 5.7, testing that 5.9. Actually, no, 5.8 and then 6 gigahertz. <laughs> and yeah. the problem with this approach in a uh, in a 30 minute, you know, very time limited competition is if you have a stable system that isn't very fast you're going to be sitting there watching your very slow score come out very slowly and so again and again it, yeah so we both agree on the idea that it would have been better to just tr rush for 6.5 gigahertz because as soon as the system crashes you can try new settings right whereas if the benchmark is running you don't really want to stop it unless you have like a screenshot showing you your past times next to so that you could keep track of if your current times are actually faster enough than they were before uh Ooh. which with super pi you can sort of at the around the 10th loop you can sort of calculate the average time for loop and then sort of predict what you should end up with though that's not comp like 100 uh accurate, accurate but it does give you a good idea a good idea of whether to continue with the run because those two minutes are really two minutes you could spend tweaking if you weren't sitting there watching Super Pyran. So True. yeah, that, that's what we would have, that, that's what a, we both think would have been a better option. But uh, I do believe this yeah. was Step on Z's first live competition. First run. And it was his first run. I mean, I actually liked his approach because he went straight. He, I mean, yeah, he yeah, did yeah. It, he, yeah, he went straight. And if his system hadn't given him trouble, you would have probably seen him, you know, do exactly what we think. Worked. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, what, yeah, he would have probably done exactly the same thing. Um, so the fact is that in you've already spent 10 minutes pulling down setting up done doing all of that so best case scenario you're gonna have five runs six at the best yeah. at the best case so you wanna yeah you know you really want to make each run count you as far as possible just go for maximum and then just pull down from there it's easier coming down like like you said because you can start at 6.5 okay if that crashes just try 6.4 if that crashes try 6.3 
or you know, just give it more voltage. You've got two ways to go, but still, yeah, that was, pro that yeah, was probably. Yeah, that is very true. And actually, on the point of voltage, they were both running in the uh, below the 1.8 range, which for me is surprising That's because safe. KB like. KB Lake is supposed to be easier to handle on LN2 than Skylake, from what I've heard. For yes, one thing, so it doesn't have the tim cracking issue, which is exaggerated by higher power consumption on Skylake, but KB Lake doesn't have that, so running higher voltage, pulling more power wouldn't really cause problems with that. And they were both running under 1.8 volts, I cool. think, for, for, for both run, for, for their best runs. So, which is really surprising, because when I was at, at the last event, I actually was commentating we had everybody just going straight for 1.9 volts and <laughs> cpus were dying yes i'll give them that yes. we we had yes. a lot of dead chips there but you know it, you had a very aggressive approach to it and that, that's the thing it, this seemed like a very sort of exploratory Safe. match it didn't seem yeah. like they they really had their strategy uh completely worked out yet which is kind of surprising for b-boy jazz because he's already been at one of these events so yeah and i, I, mean, I would have expected uh yeah. yeah so i would have expected but, a more ex aggressive strategy there but yeah it is what it is i guess but then again you know if uh step on the system hadn't given him issues i think that's pretty much what what would have happened he would have just pushed yeah hard. Him, yeah, Stefan Z was fighting a, a lot of issues. It, it didn't. Uh, did we ever figure out what he was having trouble with, or was it just oh. miscellaneous motherboard not behaving? <laughs> not behaving itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because, so I mean, it's you can have condensation, you can have issues, but then again, it's only thirty minutes. So it's ten minutes. Ten minutes in, already issues is. You know, it's too quick to have condensation or like moisture issues. I think so. Just yeah, I'd probably be I, something. I mean, even my worst, even my worst insulation in like the UK, which is pretty humid, lasts about thirty minutes. Exactly. Before, so yeah, it's it, it it probably wasn't condensation, yeah. um, but we yeah. did see him pulling up hot very very early on. So so he blowtorched it really really quick uh, early Ooh. into the match because he he started Ooh. having issues. I thought he was having cold bugs, which again aren't supposed to happen on happen on KB Lake. But Correct. from from what I heard about Skylake at least, because I don't really have a lot of experience on mainstream Intel platforms. Uh, what I heard is on Skylake, some other boards have a really bad cold boot bug where they won't yes, boot they up, do. but I'd expect yeah. the SOC to not be one of those. And that's that's actually <laughs> correct. But I was, I mean, I was reading up on some and, of and the was, was doing fine. Uh, his system wasn't having exactly. any issues. Exactly. exactly. Admittedly, he didn't cry. He didn't turn it off as many times. That's mm -hmm. another thing. Every time you try to restart, <laughs> you're, playing, yeah. you're rolling those dice. Funny things happen. <laughs> Funny things happen. Yeah, but I think I think it was more of hardware not behaving itself or uh, step on just just yeah. new hardware and just not behaving itself. And of course, you can have it's just at the end of the day, it's also luck of the draw. You, just motherboards. That's why we win boards as well. Some 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 boards are just crazy, you know. Yeah, but yeah they just don't want to behave themselves when they go cold, and some are just absolutely fine. Yeah. So but, other than that, I mean, in terms of strategy from B-Boy Jazz, we uh, saw, saw him use CPU-Z for ch checking his stability uh, yeah. between settings. Uh, so he basically just opened up the CPU test, and there's a benchmark in CPU-Z. So you, he was using that for stress testing. Step on Z was just spamming the 16K benchmark 16K. in SuperPi. Yeah, because you right, can run yeah. that very, very quickly. That that right. was the when you sort of saw it flash onto the screen and hop off quickly with the menu, that, that was Step on Z doing his stability test because I'm not actually sure how good uh, 16K is for that because I usually just go for 1M because 1M is already so short, but I mean, in a in a live event like this, yeah. even those seven seconds that it could take to run 1M and here it would be more closer to six, um, that's still quite a lot of time that you don't want to spend, whereas Step on Z's 16K spam, if would work just fine because he actually managed to run several times and then then he just had boot up issues the rest of the time so it does True. seem like a valid stability check for a time intensive that, uh, situation like yeah this. because i mean and also you can really quickly spam it you, you, you can just you know you're also you can just quickly quickly spam it and it's the first option that comes up so it's just yeah 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 so 
Yeah, and both of them were doing the whole explorer.exe killing. It was also, what I noticed was uh, interesting was B-Boy Jazz was running uh, two cores only for, I think, the whole time. Step on Z, yeah. when he came back with his system, finally, he was, was running... running four cores. True, Yeah. true. Yeah, but that, that was... Me, me, that could be to help with heat, cold bug issues, maybe. This is just shooting out yeah. in the dark, you know. Maybe. Just wants yeah. a little bit more heat out of his system. Yeah. Don't know. Yeah, so... It'd be pretty um, interesting to find out what actually happened to the board. Or what happened yeah, to the system. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It would be great to get his comment on, on what yeah. Xamic is, <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, um... um Hopefully, I mean, he's progressing to the next match, uh, to the, this was the semi-final, so he's progressing this, to the... Uh, bronze final? Is that what it is? Because there's going to be another match, and then there's going to be finals, and then there's going to be bronze finals, isn't it? Yeah, or, yeah. Oh, bronze finals yeah. and then grand finals, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's going to the grand finals, because he just won this one. True. So... So hopefully he doesn't run into that issue again, or hopefully he figured out what it is this what this is. round and he he can work around it. That's true. That's true. I wonder yeah. if everybody's using the same motherboards today. I mean, it is a gigabyte event. Uh, yes. yes. We have Aurus. That's a horrible <laughs> brand name that they came up with. I can't pronounce it. It's just like like Aorus no it's Aorus so the oh. Aorus yeah it's Aorus motherboards and, and the funny thing is does is the Z170 uh, is the Z270X SoC actually part of that or is that going to be again its that... own line who knows <laughs> but i i think everybody's going to be running the SoC boards here because the Aorus line is more gaming focused whereas the SoCs are the super over yeah yeah, yeah. It, th that's what the boards exist for um um, so yeah, and like the also what I found was really nice. That was really nice. That was a good board. That was a good board, actually. And what I what I also found um, what I also found interesting was again um, the way the way um, Stepponzi came back, and then he wasn't having any any trouble running the system, you know, towards towards the later end of 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 the round. So I would think maybe he has figured out what was causing him the issue and he's worked he's found a workaround or you know he's figured it out so yeah i'm curious to see what happens in the grand finals this is gonna yeah. get interesting boy g's yeah. got very close if he hadn't if that six gigahertz run of his hadn't gone slower yeah i think he would have really been benefited if he had kept a tab of his last run somewhere because I'm actually right. not sure how much impact, like, I know ex killing Explorer does help, but I'm not sure if having just like a preview window open of his last run, just keeping a screenshot of that Super Pi run, because he would have seen very, very quickly that that new run was just way slower. It would have been slower from loop one to loop ten exactly. easily. Exactly, exactly. So he would have exactly. known like halfway through that that he, he should just cut out of it and he wouldn't cut have up. wasted another, you know, minute. Minute through, and a half, uh, yeah. Yeah just sitting there waiting for a bad run to finish. So, yeah, there's a lot of strategy that goes into these 30-minute events that you right. wouldn't really, you know, get used to from at benching home benching, where you have all the exactly. time in the world except for exactly. conversation catching up with you. And even yeah. then, you can just try mop it up. <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually managed to recover from condensation issues, and I'm always really impressed by everybody at these live events, how they manage to have their systems Do run. It in, like... 10 minutes, 20 minutes. To yeah, and they, they can just yeah, go yeah. from, you know, the qualifier 1v1 and there's like a 30 minute break and they can get their system from soaking wet to wet runnable. To <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Which yeah. Which is just, and then just keep it running for the rest of the day as well. It's just like, yeah, they're they're really on top of their installation game, whereas I'm, I'm still sort of, still need to work that out. <laughs> <laughs> True. And also, I mean, it's just good quality gear, please. A very big part in this as well. Yeah, so we just had a question on the chat by Fimmat, who is asking, "Is there a Z270 SoC?" Yes, there is. That's the board they're using this uh, today at the event. Everybody's That's gonna cool. well. Step on Z and B Boy Jazz were both on the Z270 uh, 270X SoC. Uh, I don't think any other boards will be used today at today's event. Um, so. Yeah, I wouldn't think so either. Because, uh, as I can you confirm said, that there will the, be no other board being used today rather than this one. 
There okay. we go. Oh, by the way, you guys can uh, can say hi to the camera because everyone is watching you live uh, on Twitch and here at the CES in Las Vegas at the Gigabyte Suite. Okay then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. So, so it seems like uh, people are getting ready for the next match and there's still a, a few minutes left to, uh, for everything to be uh, completely ready. But uh, I think that's going to be... a uh, Soon we will soon be able to start the next uh, the next few matches. So I'll let you guys take a few questions from the crowd on the Twitch, and uh, we're gonna come back in the next few minutes to discuss the next match between uh, Dogna from Japan and Lucky New from Indonesia. Woohoo! Lucky Noob. Yay. Woo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a. <laughs> I'm I'm afraid that Lucky Noob is just gonna kill that one because he has a <laughs> lot of experience in these one v ones, and he oh, is just yeah. like he's got his process for benching down to Need. Need. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty much yeah. he has like second by second capabilities of going through these competitions. It's incredible to watch him bench. Uh, he's also a great guy. Uh, got to meet him in person at the Berlin event last year. He awesome, beautiful, guy. awesome guy, awesome, yeah. awesome guy, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's I've, I've bumped into him two years now uh, in Taiwan every single year, and he's just been, you yeah. know, nothing but helpful. He's just a really, really nice guy. And I mean, Trof, Trof was saying that that he was uh, he was briefly interacting with um, Dogna, and he's also you know lovely, lovely, lovely person. So it's gonna be it's gonna be two nice guys against each other. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and Dognar is actually very new to the OC scene. Um, he joined Hardware Bot pretty much exactly a year ago, on yeah. the seventh of January, twenty sixteen. So you know, it's well, almost exactly I, a year. Well, it's if you sixth. if you think about it, it is the seventh in Japan. Yeah, <laughs> so exactly a year. The, yeah, and 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 he's already competing at the very very top of 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 these events. So yep. Yeah, this. This is going to be an Definitely interesting match. To, yep. Yeah. And I mean, I've been looking through his, you know, hardware bot profile, and he has some very nice so scores I. on Skylake. He has side six bench. 6.4, uh, 6.5 gigahertz. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's got some very nice runs on, on Skylake. Yeah. And, and Skylake is an incredibly difficult architecture so, to bench on LN2. Yeah. It is by far one of the hardest. It's painful. Uh, among CPUs. It's painful. Uh, whereas KB Lake is Intel. Intel pretty much made KB like for extreme overclockers, <laughs> from my point of view, because they fixed pretty much everything anybody everything. could complain about with KB Lake. The Tim yeah. crack is gone. There's no yeah. more, no cold bug whatsoever. There, True. it's the only it clocks better, significantly better. Significantly it connects way better. better. Significantly it's better. Better memory controller. Just everything about KB Lake, as far as overclocking goes, is better. Yes. However. From everything we've also seen about KB Lake on Eric, we well, there goes the audio. I think we've lost. I think we've lost. So I think, guys, I think we have a little problem with the audio here. Um, so, and we're back. My back? Yes, we're yes, we're back. There we go. Sorry about that. Having some technical difficulties here. <laughs> <laughs> My system is possibly less stable than the ones we are seeing up on the stages today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. So. So yeah, boy. Um, yeah. Very very impressive scores already from um, from Ragna. I mean, considering considering um, Skylake being just such a complete pain to bench, you know, um, he's got some really really nice scores. I mean, and especially to hit those numbers, you know, he's got to have to run, you know, downright super cold, um, practically practically. Down to minus 180, 185, maybe even. 
So yeah, that takes a certain amount of skill. Yeah. Not yeah, not everybody can get six point five G runs out of Skylake. It's easier said than done. Yeah, I mean KB Lake makes me happy. I never got a Skylake. <laughs> I've it's had, just like, I've had, I, I just listen to everybody like, oh, th- this is a problem. That's a problem. And I'm like, well, we have KB like, and everything is fixed. <laughs> everything is fixed. Yeah, I'm, I'm seriously, seriously dying to bench KB Lake. It's, yep. it's, yeah, I'm looking forward to benching this thing. Just as soon as India sees its CPUs. <laughs> Wow. Okay, guys, I am back, and I think uh, thank you very much for all the details. Actually, uh, I was uh, here at the venue checking that everything was doing uh, all right with the with Timothy behind the scene, and there was people actually watching you, uh, watching you here at the uh, at the venue. So that's uh, quite uh, quite fun. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, let's move to the next match. Let's move to the next match. That's going to be with uh, Bill Zoid. To use would be uh, taking notes for uh, being the analyst on the next uh, on the next break. Thank you very yeah. much, guys. Um, and uh, here I am. So, guys, this is the Overclocking World Championship, Las Vegas 2017. This is the first e- uh, event of the year. Uh, of course, we start quite a big, uh, quite early in the year, but that's always fun to do it this way. Today, we have four of the top overclockers in uh, attending this event that are competing to know who will be the finalist and get the tickets for the Overclocking World Championship World Final. So that one will be happening at the end of the year. And as you saw in the introduction videos, there's going to be 10 events this year, 10 of them. Uh, there's going to be nine in uh, nine different countries. Uh, there's going to be actually two in the US. Uh, there might be one maybe later on during the year. It's not announced yet. But uh, you, will, uh, you will have all the information uh, if you watch the live. So... If you like what you're seeing, or if it's the first time you end up in here from the uh, Twitch page or from the different social media, uh, don't for, don't hesitate to just say hi on the live chat and just let us know what you think about all these, the kind of matches, the kind of commentaries. If you have any question about the hardware, people here are doing extreme overclockings, but these people are usually expert in this in this field. Um, we don't really care about having RGB on the keyboards, but we do care about having uh, probes and cooling solution on the system itself. So that's very important for us, and that's why we can actually these guys can um, help you out in building your PC and finding the right component. Especially uh, Bitzoid from UK is doing that quite a lot uh, lately. He's doing that on his uh, YouTube channel as well. You can find that at actually at core overclocking. Uh, Bitzoid, you can post the link in the live chat if you want for people to uh, go say hi. And um, Tullius, you are one of the overclockers as well that you have been sticking around this community and you're going to be doing more stuff in the next uh, in the next few months i heard let's not talk too much now but <laughs> i know i know there is something coming up on your side so i can't wait to see uh, i can't wait to see it and how that's going to work all right thank you so, so much <laughs> you're welcome um i think we are all ready to go back into the match so let's get this kicking